Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, one and all, to episode 70 fun of the Switch It Up show. And you know we've got tons of it because it's me, your host, Seth Trav, and always our friend, Glenn. That's me, my man. How you doing this evening? I'm doing really well, my guy, because today we've got two games that sound super, super crazy. Who knows what they could be about? One sounds insane and is a strong guess, and the other sounds even crazier and probably a lot like what it actually is. Absolutely, my man. But until we get to that fun, we're going to keep the old-time standard classic fun of every Switch It Up show going with a little more Ana Mana Gucci. The classic that is Anamana Gucci, ever providing the tosset tones to the Switch It Up show. Hmm. So, my friend, today, first up, we have Assault Android Cactus Plus. It is $19.99, and you get 100 gold coins when you buy it Digit Alley. When you're running on battery, make every second count. Experience an arcade-style twin-stick shooter set in a vivid sci-fi universe. Junior Constable Cactus is outside her pay grade when she responds to a distress call and ends up stranded on a crippled space freighter under attack by its own robot workers. With a draining battery mechanic instead of lives, Assault Android Cactus Plus challenges you to think fast and shoot faster. Charge ahead charge head first into an army of refitted robots transforming stages and massive boss showdowns features nine playable androids each with a distinct play style and personality 25 stage campaigns boss rush infinity drive and daily drive give you many ways to play online leaderboards to compare yourself against your friends and the world unlock game modifying e X options, explore the codex, and listen to developer commentary. An all new campaign plus mode with remixed stages for a fresh challenge supports local co op in all game modes up to four players. Play with any configuration, including Nintendo Switch Pro controllers and single Joy Con controllers using Aim Assist. This game, it's wild, wild fun. You play as this first android as they said her name is cactus that is her surname um it's very very cool it's very reminiscent of say ratchet and clank um if you've ever played those games very very reminiscent um twin shooter style tons of fun each character is very very different in their play style um and that's because they stick you with the guns that you have however as you run around you do get multiple power-ups extra battery life um, everybody seems to have the same kind of super thing ish, uh, where you get like angel wings. It's wild fun. The music in this game is great. I really, really, really dig the music in it. Um, really not that repetitive. Um, the boss fights are, are really cool. They're unique. Each level is unique. Well, well, each will kind of world it's, it's sort of a section on this ship that you're on um and they are different and unique different music for them different kinds of sets of enemies um it's graphically i want to say like a ps3 game on that par uh which isn't necessarily a bad thing at all not at all um yeah right you know ps3 still holds it down mm -hmm. um i would say it is a little bit better than a ps3 game but it, at times i do feel like it could uh be graphically a little better however the cartoony style that it has does lend itself to being um sort of graphically not that well um think of jimmy neutron and and you'll probably get that get the vibe for the art style that it's going for <laughs> which hey the boy genius and my haircut uh they they still hold up <laughs> this guy. um yeah right uh so yeah, Assault Android Cactus Plus, there's really not a lot of bad things to say about it because it gives you tons of unlockables. Every time you finish a new world stage area sort of thing like that, you do get a new character. Um, 
And you know me, I love those participation trophies. So being able to get the codex where you can read all about the different enemies, you get developer commentary, which is absolutely amazing to have because it's, it, I don't know, it, it's actually kind of insightful and pretty fun. Um, you know, I love a DVD commentary, so really cool to see that. Um, so yeah, Assault the Android Cactus Plus. Um if you like a Ratchet and Clank style game, but a much more arena type fight feel, and you love a good twin stick shooter at $19.99, you really cannot beat that price. So I am going to give this one a 4.5 Oof. out of 5. Oh, oh my gosh, man. Hi. Hi, praise. Good score. Sounded like you had a great time with that. I had a really great time with Salt Android Cactus Plus. It's one of the. It's. That and Undead's Building are, are two of the games we've played recently that ha- are have really just, like, out of nowhere surprised the hell out of me with how just amazingly fun and and rewarding the experiences are. Oh, my gosh, man. Hey, that, that, that is why we're here. That is why we do the podcast, to be able to highlight some of those games that, you know, are awesome that, you know, people should hopefully just know a little bit more about. Exactly. That's what that's, that's the point of Switch It Up show. Let us know if you have any games that we haven't reviewed and you think we should know about, or any indie devs that you think we should maybe have on the show to talk about a game that, that's coming out. Um, let us know, because we can definitely get at them and see about getting them on the show, getting a game reviewed. And be sure to send them over to at Switch It Up show. Absolutely, my man. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the second and final review of this episode, and that is going to be Super Blackjack Battle 2 Turbo Edition, The Card Warriors. Good God! Absolutely, my man, and I I have to let you guys know out there in podcast world that traditionally well we uh, reach out to a lot of these uh, indie developers as you guys already know uh, and we're able to review uh, you know these games because you know they provide us with them Uh, that being said we always give our honest opinion however this game this game was recently on sale uh, for like the low, 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 low price. I think of like 79 cents or something absolutely ridiculous. And I actually purchased this title. Uh, so this game is, uh, you know, not was not provided, um, you know, by the developer. This is just me purchasing it, and I was anxious uh, to talk to you guys about it. And when I first saw I mean, it, it, sounds crazy as all hell. It looks crazy as all hell, Mr. Traff. Uh, and I just like I was I saw this in the eShop and I was like I just have to I have to play this I have to play this and for the price I'm like I just I just need I just need to uh, because it looks absolutely insane uh, the artwork the graphics like the, the the cover art for this everything screams Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo everything even they even allude to it in the title of this game the font is a Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo font everything um the, you win the, exactly the guy who is even dealing the cards in the backdrop has like a hadouken coming out of his hand as he's throwing like the cards out it is oh my god it is <laughs> ridiculous let me go ahead and hit you with a little bit of the synopsis here before i jump into my review super blackjack battle 2 turbo edition first of all a plus for the title. That's great. <laughs> Introduces a roster of 12 very different characters, all completing to become the greatest blackjack player of all time. That is both very accurate and a horrible lie. Um, because although there are different characters, none of them play differently whatsoever. Nothing different there. They just look different. Um, following an invitation by the owner of the largest casino in Las Vegas and the godfather of one of the most influential crime families, each character will face the other participants in a face-off game of cards. Only the best of them will fly to Las Vegas to challenge the godfather himself in a final match, not knowing that the tournament itself is nothing more than a charade to hide a ruthless master plan to defeat the competing clan family. So what's the deal with this game? It's Blackjack. It tributes to a well-known arcade fighting game of the 90s, a roster with 12 characters from all around the world, such as Mark, an undercover FBI agent, Kamiko from Japan, seeking her revenge for her uncle's death, or Gregor, a South African warlord. Ten different storylines with individual endings and dialogues in an epic single-player campaign. Play with four players. There is no online play with this game at all. Don't look for it. Don't expect it. 
um, don't even expect there to be more than two people at a table when you sit down to play uh, this blackjack game because this is heads up blackjack you against the computer just like it is in like a bit of a missed opportunity absolutely just like it is in street fighter 2 but in street fighter 2 the game which they are making this homage to that you have like you know special moves power-ups like really cool things that give you an extra edge against your competitor not in this game you're just playing blackjack it is straight up blackjack you're betting money and like you defeat the opponent when one of you runs out of money that's it that's it that's it's it not, so it's just graphically overhauled bells and whistles feathers on to the nines full dressings blackjack yeah the, the graphics in this game look awesome it is very much like if there was a street fighter blackjack game this is it it's literally like if you were in street fighter 2 you were on that casino level and mm-hmm. you decided to actually walk into the casino absolutely my man absolutely like a thousand percent and you know it gets an a plus for that aesthetic like it looks great the blackjack game itself plays great uh, but the problem is that like you know like they have like like the minimum bet for some of these blackjack tables when you sit down is 50 bucks and they give you a thousand dollars to start off with so it's like oh man you gotta like grind these people down so that they lose their money there's really nothing you can do to you can't affect the outcome of their cards or anything like that it's just a heads up blackjack and like you know, it's just, just you and them, so it's not even like if you're playing online, you know, because Blackjack, even though you're playing against other people, you're really not. You're playing against the dealer. Uh, so if you were playing online and, you know, you had more people, like, around the Blackjack table, um, you'd be able to kind of be like, all right, well, like, you know, I have, like, uh, like a seven showing. Uh, the dealer has, like, a jack. You know, like, like you could kind of strategize. You could brain man a situation. Yeah. You can try to, like, you know, you could try to be like, all right, there's you a lot of face cards, cards out. You, you can, you know, you could you'd try to make, you know, like, some type of like some type of adjustment you have a system uh-huh. yeah you know? well i'm just saying like you know like there there are times where you want to hit and times where you don't but in this it's just you and the dealer uh well you the dealer and the other dude and like you want to beat the dealer but in all reality it doesn't necessarily matter if you can make the other person lose uh so it's just it's just strange and it's just one like after another once you beat somebody there's a small little line of dialogue to give you an update of the story of your character and then we go on to the next town and we're fighting somebody else but we're not really fighting them we're just playing blackjack uh, and it's the same thing same amount of money and as you get harder uh, as it goes on um nothing changes it's the same game you just have more money so like I mean, that's not you know not the not the biggest thing. And because you're not really taking money from them, you're taking money from the bank. It doesn't matter how much money you amass. Um, like you know, like it, it does because once you know once it's once it's over, there are so many hands that you can play. I think it's like 25 hands or something like that before the mm. match is done. So like it can go on for a while. Um, you know, or until you, so you do need to have more money than them. But like I don't know, like I just wish there was something something different to it, some type of like aspect that you could like you know affect their outcomes. Like I wish you had supers and stuff like that that you could that you could use and special moves and combos that you could hit. Like I just wish it was a little bit more Street Fighter and less Blackjack. You know? Yeah, it, it feels like a bunch of missed opportunities there to actually add in like random shuffle or something like that yeah, or like yeah. how do kind of car sure you kind of card away yeah you oh. know maybe it, maybe it was a rights thing and then the fact that there's no online play that 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 just that's guttural yeah man it's brutal it's it's absolutely brutal it's it's such a such a missed like you know opportunity there i mean so many cool things that this would just be awesome like if you're already gonna like you know like parody their art style and like their font and everything like that like i have no idea why you wouldn't be able to do some like some type of moves or something like that like something um but they just don't and that being said like you know i paid like i don't know between i'm gonna say between 79 cents and two dollars when it was on sale it was cheap and now it's on the eShop. it's available for seven dollars and 99 cents and if you want to just play blackjack you want to play blackjack with like a cool aesthetic and you like retro games then buy this you'll have a great time with it uh and if it happens to go on sale and you like blackjack maybe maybe buy it um but i mean it just it wasn't what i was expecting it to be it could be super awesome and it's just not super big missed opportunity like and the music is awesome too like they nailed everything about this game except that they don't commit enough to like street fighter gimmick you know Mm. they need to have some type of more interactivity 
they need to update this game, I would definitely be worth more money if it had those type of, uh, like, you know, combos and stuff like that that we're talking about. This could easily be a $20 game if it had those type of cool combos. Like, I, that would be awesome. It just doesn't have that. Uh, right. So, that being said, in its current state, this game does know, like, you know, doesn't do, aside from, like, looking awesome uh, and, like, just being basic blackjack, like, it's not doing anything else beyond that. Uh, so, I feel like I'm just going to give this a three, and that's only because of the aesthetic that it has. This could easily be a two and a half. Um, like, it's not, there's nothing bad about this, but, like, you know, the, I just see how great it could be, and it's so sad that, you know, it's not there. Um, that happens, man. You know, every now and then a game can completely let us down. Uh which is a, is a little bit unfortunate that this one uh, really panned out to be so, so standard for you. Yeah. However, I was amazingly surprised by my game this week. Uh, we got the 3 and we got the 4.5 out of you and I, the good guys over here at the Switch It Up show. Let us know if you want to hear us do any other games. Let us know what you think of the show at Switch It Up show. Head over to www.priest.us to find every location where you can play us, watch us play, and so much more. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, if things ever start to get boring, you can always switch it up.